We talk now about AKJS, Don't Call Me Frontend Framework. So, first of all, the boring thing, I'm not the brown one. <laughs> I'm uh, Andre Peruffo. I'm an all-around uh, developer. I program for uh, anything, uh, basically from PLCs to cloud systems, uh, embedded devices, FPGs, uh, or uh, whatever, even on uh, JavaScript sometimes <laughs> it happens. Uh, and uh, I really enjoy programming, and I want to let you enjoy this session because it will, I hope it will be fun also for you. And uh, I work in Unicredit, that is a bank, and in the research and development team. Uh, you can imagine how many legacy systems has got a bank, and uh, we try to push new technologies uh, in uh, the back end of our uh, bank to improve systems and uh, to, 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 to make something better for every customer and uh, the bank it's, uh, itself for tomorrow. And these are my handler. So, to start, we have seen just uh, some talks uh, about, about ACA. ACA just uh, implement the actor model, and uh, it is great. It is a great library. It is uh, the second actor model implementation that is, uh, that is present uh, on, in the computer uh, systems. The first is Erlang, obviously, and uh, it is widely used, and uh, it provides us a vector model to help us build a concurrent application, and it is used really widely in scale application and on the other on the other uh, on the other side we have scala js and uh, catherine did uh, before uh, a really nice job introducing introducing it and i really thanks her because uh, <laughs> that uh, that uh, that talk was a proper introduction to what i'm uh, to what i'm going to say now and uh, scala js is a great project uh, despite the fact the, the, the fact that is a 0.6 they are really a stable product and uh, you can really rely on it. It, uh, it is a second compiler for Scala, but it is uh, great and uh, it works really out of the box without any problem and it is production ready at, uh, at uh, any aspect. And uh, from the union of the two, our dream and what we did is AKJS. We take back a code and compile it with Scala.js and uh, see what happens <laughs> all together. So, how does it work? This is the part of the talk where I usually start uh, to talk about how we did AKJS. But I was a little bit bored uh, about saying uh, again the, uh, the very same thing uh, that are uh, compiler plugin, Java standard library, ref reflection on JavaScript that is madness, uh, intermediate representation plugin patch, uh, patchers, and so on. So believe me, don't care about it. It works and uh, it is already done. <laughs> so don't think about it and uh, we just see what happens. So the second, the second point that I usually try to explain to my audience is uh, why you should care about AKJS. <laughs> and uh, the answer is, uh, why not? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> I try to be serious. Um, I, don't want, uh, I, I don't want to explain a priori uh, something to you and uh, to, to, to attract you, you with some words. I want to show you some code, some real code, and we want to keep a ride and, uh, and, uh, and uh, see something that, is, uh, that can be useful. So, I start with an exercise. Develop a full stack uh, proof of concept for a Twitter streaming service. Oh, this, uh, this afternoon I have nothing, uh, nothing better to do and I want to start uh, to develop something uh, different from usual and I want to do it fast and I want to do it with a, with a vector model and uh, Scala.js on the other side. So we start. On uh, one side we have to develop a backend that will uh, take the tweets and, uh, and uh, stream them to, to the front ends. And uh, to develop it we need a little bit of project, uh, config of project configuration to start with uh, a Scala.js uh, project. As Catherine mentioned, uh, the only things uh, you need to, to do is under if you have an SBT uh, project, is under project uh, or plugins or whatever, uh, .sbt, you have to include the SBT plugin that is the Scala.js compiler, and uh, you are done. You can, you can uh, use a Scala.js project. This is a Scala.js only plugin, and uh, 
in uh, the build SBT, we enable on it the Scala.js plugin uh, compiler, and uh, we use the very last version of uh, Scala, and uh, we use the very last version of uh, Aka.js to, to, uh, to develop it. And this is uh, all what you need to, uh, uh, to prepare a project for, that uh, runs with uh, Scala.js that is really, really, really pretty similar to, to, to what you normally do with Scala and the normal SBT projects. So, what next? We talk about a backend architecture. How do we want to shape the, our backend application? Uh, what, we, what, I, what we would like to do is to uh, spawn an actor that is a, a WebSocket server. So it will listen on uh, a port and it will accept uh, incoming connection to, that will be handled uh, with uh, WebSockets. So anytime you receive a request of a connection of uh, a WebSocket, uh, you spawn a WebSocket channel that will be an actor that uh, will concurrently uh, manage the, con the connection between, uh, between the server and the client that is asking for, uh, for the WebSocket connection. So we have two actors that are spawned. And uh, these WebSocket channels will have this actor that will be a Twitter service. So basically, each channel, each web WebSocket connection will spawn another actor that will take care of connecting the, to the Twitter streaming service and the stream tweets to him that will be streamed again to the WebSocket itself. And uh, this is one to what uh, we want to achieve in our backend. What? I'm not a JavaScript programmer, <laughs> to be honest. And uh, so what, uh, what, I, what, I, what I do when I program with uh, Scala.js is just uh, type on Google node, WebSocket, and uh, what, uh, what appear is not WebSocket. Uh, there is a node module for anything. And so you can uh, freely grab from the documentation of, uh, NPM, of NPM modules. And uh, what we need to do is uh, simply npm install WebSocket, you have to type it, before running the project. And then we, st we go for the example. Okay, let's. We have uh, Scala.js on one side, we can, we can copy and paste part of this code, and uh, we want to shape it like an actor. So what happens is that we start to define our WebSocket server actor, and uh, you can see that the code looks pretty, pretty, pretty similar. Pretty similar, and uh, we spawn a web a WebSocket server, uh, and uh, we require HTTP, and we create a server, and uh, at any HTTP uh, request, we answer with uh, 404 not available because we care just about the WebSocket incoming connection, and. Uh, at this point, we go on and uh, we uh, instantiate a new WebSocket server like we do here, exactly the same with uh, some more parameter. And uh, on each request, we act spawning another song, spawning a, a, an actor that will manage the connection handler to the, to the client. So for any client that uh, try to connect to this server, we spawn in the backend uh, an actor that will handle the, the WebSocket server. And uh, at this point on a node, you can see that things start to go a little bit bad because uh, you are aware of the callback hell that uh, starts uh, that uh, that you can have on node, and uh, on the request you can see that there is the acceptance of the connection, and uh, on the connection you have the callback of the messages, and uh, on the close and things start to become nested and nested again, and uh, the code becomes really rapidly rapidly unreadable, and uh, what we did. Is a simply spawning a WebSocket Twitter channel actor. We we have a, we have a, a channel actor. So each WebSocket simply bind its 
the callbacks to the action of sending a messages of sending messages so when uh, when uh, you receive a message he uh, forward it to the twitter actor to track some topic on uh, on the twitter channel when the connection close simply kill himself because we don't need any more that actor in our back end and uh, when we receive a string that will be a tweet we simply send it over the connection so actors are really helping us going away from the call from the callbacks and uh, simply mapping the action of the callbacks to, to, to the send of some simple message is uh, helping us managing this application the last point that we have to implement here is uh, the twitter service and uh, i don't know how to connect to a twitter streaming service i don't know even on uh, on a node so i just google node tweet stream whatever and the first the very first result is a node tweet stream and uh, Again, npm install node tweet stream like a donkey, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, just follow the example that is uh, even easier than, than the WebSocket uh, server. And uh, we said that we want to create an actor that will manage this connection again. So just uh, require the module as they do in the example and uh, instantiate a new Twitter. There is a little difference because I load the credential from the disk, but it's a detail. And um, on each tweet, we try to stringify the Twitter that is a JSON object and then simply send it to our parent remember our parent was a websocket handler, actor handler so he will then uh, uh, produce it on our websocket channel and on the other end because this uh, twitter client can track some uh, some topic uh, is simply when when you receive a simple uh, track message that is uh, defined here he simply produced the action to, to, to track it on the driver that we are using and on post op uh, he simply clear the uh, our instance of the twitter of the twitter module that uh, we are using we can see if uh, this last component uh, uh, does work and uh, we can just write a demo uh, application that will run on node that simply uh, uh, spawn an actor spawn an actor system like uh, like you do uh, in any ACA project and uh, spawn another actor that will be the parent of the Twitter of the Twitter actor that will be created inside and uh, simply ask to track the pizza topic and uh, see if uh, it works uh, simply uh, printing to the standard output of the message received. So I am on the server, I can uh, SBT. And uh, as you can see, this is a normal SBT project. You can, uh, you can simply uh, type uh, run, and then I run the, dem the demo Twitter actor, and uh, where actor system is started, and uh, it starts to stream uh, tweets. So far, so good. <laughs> that's, uh, that's nice. And uh, remember, we are running on Node. <laughs> we have uh, this backend uh, right now. And uh, yes, that's good. We have developed every little piece that compose our backend infrastructure to, 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 uh, for our Twitter service. What we learned in this, in this process? First of all, the concept of separation actors can be intended like the original object-oriented model and so actors help us to model our application separating the concept so we separate the, the server that will spawn an actor for each websocket incoming connection and uh, each connection is handled by an actor and each connection has got another driver that is the twitter streaming driver that is handled by an actor and everything goes smooth and, uh, and we and uh, we have a, con a separation of uh, each 
peace within our, our uh, actors. We go away from the cul de cal. You have seen that in Node there are uh, thousands of, uh, of uh, nested connection uh, of uh, nested uh, callback uh, management uh, things, and uh, we do not care. As soon as we have the callback, we just remap it on uh, the action of spawning an actor, the action of sending a message to something really, really simple and really, really meaningful. On our, on, uh, in our, in our backend, as uh, Catherine said, the, um, the use of uh, callbacks and functions uh, is not compatible between uh, Sc uh, between uh, between Scala JS and Scala. But in this way, we remap the, uh, the, the each uh, each behavior of a callback to a simple send of uh, of a message, for example. And this is completely co completely compatible. And you go away from all these kind of bad things that you can uh, uh, meet during your development. And uh, we have free, con free concurrency isolation. Because we are talking about separate actors that has got different states and has got different behaviors and that are completely separated, we do not have to manage uh, a multiple connection system. We just spawn an actor that will manage one single connection. And we have to think about, every time, just a single behavior that will happen on a single actor. And everything is easier <laughs> even on node and uh, even on uh, on other uh, platforms over other than uh, the jvm every time you have concurrency the actor model can help you really okay so far you're so good and you've seen all the line of code that compose our backend system and they are around 150 and uh, we have a twitter service backend on node developed in the 150 line of code and uh, this is a proof of concept but uh, it works 